find the number of years in compound interest okay so number of years will denote with the n in this compound interest topic so time we can say in years that is n so we have to calculate the n value in the formula now so actually we have the formula about this compound interest that amount is equals to a is equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 all to the power n so n is the number of years r is the rate of interest p is the principal a is amount okay let's have one question we'll see okay let me show you one simple question then same concept uh, later we'll see other problems okay in how many years question is in how many years will be uh, 2000 amount 2000 amount to another amount it is 2000 to 2662 okay at 10% compound interest 10% per annum compound interest yes we have to calculate this now in how many years this uh, principal will be amount to 2662 rate of interest is 10% okay let us apply the same values in the formula here is the p is given that is rupees 2000 and a is equals to because this 2000 amount to 2662 2662 is this for amount same r is equals to 10% per annum n value you have to calculate okay to find out this using the same formula same will apply a is equals to 2662 is equals to p into p is 2000 1 plus r by 100 r value is 10 by 100 all to the power n so for what value of n this will be equal 2000 is multiplied with this entire so take this side multiply 2662 by 2000 is equals to 1 plus 10 by 100 all to the power n so to find out n value we need to make the basis must be same that means we have to simplify this first simplify separately lhs and rhs we can cancel this two table to 1000 this 1331 so finally i got 1331 by 1000 don't cancel more let us do this also 1 plus 10 by 100 this 10 ones are 10 10 times 1 plus 1 by 10 is 11 by 10 all to the power n right now you can arrange you can check 11 by 10 is the base rhs lhs also should make it as 11 by 10 if you notice 1000 is 10 cube 1000 is 10 to the power 3 same way 13 31 is 11 cube this both so from this 11 to the power 3 by 10 to the power 3 is equals to 11 by 10 all to the power n now we can make the this one 11 by 10 is 11 by 10 all to the power 3 is equals to 11 by 10 all to the power n so if a power m is equal to a power n then m is equal to n right formula okay then 3 is equals to n so we can write so therefore n is equals to 3 years and we got 3 so 3 years it is n time so in 3 years this um, value 2000 is amount to 2662 so same formula will apply throughout this problems also almost compound interest even to finding the number of years also same okay. and with compound interest and simple interest combinations questions also let us see